Hi guys, welcome back to my $5,000 a month Amazon journey. And if you haven't joined us before, my name is Allie Evanson. I'm an entrepreneur, a mom, a business owner, and I'm out to make $5,000 profit per month on Amazon um, selling wholesale products. Today, we're going to chat about the difference between a wholesale product and a private label product. And I've had a lot of people who have um, approached me just wondering what they should sell or um, where they should start. So we're gonna go over both really fast and then I'm gonna tell you um, my personal view on this. Um, so a wholesale product is a brand that already exists, right? That a brand that exists um, that already has a good reputation. So take this iPhone, right? It's already um, branded by Apple, like most people in the world already know what Apple is. And so this would this is an example of a wholesale product. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to usually set up a listing. It already is known. This is a private label product. Um, this is actually a wallet that I had a friend create and brand. Um, and they had to do everything from scratch, make the listing, do the advertising because nobody knew about their brand beforehand. Um, so there's advantages and disadvantages to both. But first, let's talk a little bit about um, private labeling. Uh, generally, when people private label, it means that they're importing things from China. They're having a manufacturer in Asia make the product and um, put their own packaging, their own brand on it, and then they're shipping it to the United States. Um, I know people that have made millions of dollars doing this, and it's amazing. If you have the experience, if you have the know-how, if you have the cash flow, um, it's a great business model. But if you're new to Amazon like me, then there are a few things that you should definitely think about. Um, first of all, liability. Um, especially if your product has moving parts, if it takes batteries, um, anything like that. It, liability insurance, product liability insurance, I should say, is super expensive. Um, it can be really hard to find on products that come from China. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind. You take all the liability upon yourself. Um, the other thing to think about is just how much money you're willing to invest in a private label product. It costs um, a lot more than buying a wholesale product in the US because a supplier from China is going to want you to order a certain amount of units, sometimes 500 or 1,000 or 2,000. And so as a new seller, most people don't have the money to um, sink all into one product. So these are kind of the reasons that I've chosen the wholesale route because it's a lot easier to find products. Um, I can find products in the US. They get to me faster. They have a faster turnaround. Um, because I don't have to put them on a boat, you know, coming from thousands of miles away. So that's, that's been kind of my own thought process. Part of the reason that I sell wholesale products is because I don't have to put any effort into branding. They're already well known. Um, I generally don't even have to create listings. One of the reasons that I do create listings is because I can take wholesale products and I can put them in multiples on Amazon and create what we call bundles. And the nice thing about bundles is my profit margin is usually a little higher and I don't have all the competition that's on a main listing. So it's a real, um, it's a money maker and it's, it's a great opportunity. It's like creating an opportunity myself. One of the other big things for me is communication. So when I communicate with a supplier in the US, it's a whole lot easier than communicating with somebody overseas. I can negotiate prices a little more easily. I just in general have a little more control over the whole process. One of the other things that is a real advantage to wholesaling is that I can spread my product risk out. So instead of having you know, that 2,000 units of one item, 
I could buy um, a thousand different items. And that way, if a few of those items tank in price or I have other problems with them, then um, I'm not losing money because it's just a little bit of my inventory, not, it doesn't make an overall impact as long as I'm making money on the rest. Um, I should say profit margins are tighter with wholesale, but this can be made up a lot with volume. So if I'm selling um, 10 units of a private label item um, for a really good profit margin, I could potentially sell 100 units of a wholesale item, make a little less, but the volume makes up for it. The other nice thing, especially because I'm trying to build this business so quickly, is that a wholesale business can be off the ground and running in literally weeks, um, which is what I'm trying to do. Like I'm trying to shove so much into a couple months. Whereas a private label business can take six months for the entire process. A, a wholesale business, you can call a supplier, um, get their catalog, um, plug all of their items into your software program like Prime Seller, um, and then you can create an order and ship that out to Amazon in less than a month. Um, and there's very few other businesses like in the whole world that you can start and be profitable that quickly. As always, thanks for following my journey. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, especially if this helped you. And I'm really curious to hear um, how you guys are doing ending out Q4, um, what you anticipate in January, um, any ideas you have for me. So please uh, leave me a note. I would really appreciate it. Keep earning and burning, guys.